If you saw my prior video about how to do the functions and whether they are functions, then you're good and ready to go for the second part, how to learn how to do domain and range super quick. So when we're doing the domains and the ranges for our values, all we're doing is not determining whether it's a function or not, because I did that in the last video, but when you're doing domains and ranges for very specific points, like discrete information, like these ones where they're very specific points, all you have to do is just go through the numbers least to greatest and order them. So you're looking at your x coordinates, which are your domain values. These are all these numbers. If there's a repeat, like there is here, there are two threes, these are going to not be written twice. So you're just gonna go from least to greatest order. You're gonna put curly brackets like this, and then you're just gonna go for the lowest number, which is negative two. Put that first, comma, negative one, comma, and then we have that three. And you don't need to write it twice because once you've written it once, that's all you need to do. Then you're going to do your range values, which are your y values, and you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to look at those y values, which are right here, your 6, your negative 1, your 4, and your 6. Again, you don't repeat numbers. If there's one once, you don't need to write it more than once. We do the curly brackets, and then we do least numbers to greatest numbers. So negative 1 will go first. Then we're going to do four, and then we're going to do six. Close your curly brackets, and that's how you do your listing of your domain and your range for discrete graphs. We'll do this one below it, and then I'll do the other ones in another video. So with this one, we start off with that curly bracket for the domain. Again, that's the x coordinates, y is the range, and then we just go ahead and we're going to look at our domain values, our lowest one being negative two then five, then seven. These ones are nice and ordered already for us. And then because there's only two, don't, don't worry if it's two, but we do the same thing with our range. So we have a negative one, we have a zero, and that's it. So they don't necessarily have to have the same number, and that's it. If you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at U1 Algebra. All these are located in my functions playlist don't forget to like, share, follow me for more, save it for later, and I'll see you soon.